politically street, man. And that's one of the coldest names you can have. <laughs> because we out here in these streets, yeah. but these politics is trickling down, so it's all intertwined, man. So we got to figure out how to work with the way we do so Shout out to Political Street. All right. Welcome to another edition of Political Street. I am your community ambassador, Robin J. Anderson. And I have with me today, newly elected, <laughs> Good friend of mine uh, for Lone Star uh, it's the board, right? Lone Star Board. Board of Trustees. Board of Trustees, Miss Aisha Wilson. Yes. <laughs> I'm how, you, how you doing, Miss Aisha? I'm man? good. You know? I'm good. Just All right. Going every day. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit of history with me and Aisha, man. Uh, I'm not sure. I know. I think we met on Facebook at first. At first. At mm -hmm. first, and. Um, Aisha was like a, a angel investor in the tree lighting ceremony because every year she would invest, well, she would donate, but she would have to go, she'd be out of town when the actual tree light would come around. And so uh, this past year, she actually finally came in. Yes, you know what I mean? no traffic. <laughs> you know, and so, but. Um, but even before that, Sister Overshawn. You know what's up, Sean? Remember, remember um, when she passed away? Uh huh. And well, before she passed away, um, I don't know how. I don't know how. I think that's how we got connected on Facebook. Is okay. Knowing Sister Overshawn because I used to mom and her church every Black History. Wow. Yeah. I didn't, it was okay, a, it was okay. a group of me and my other two friends. We used to mom. Um, Sunday mornings mm -hmm. um, when she had her big Black History program. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, man. God rest her soul, man. That was a real. I loved her. Oh my God. I love so man. much. Yeah, I said, <laughs> I have a plaque that she gave me for, uh, because we, we had, uh, I was a, the vice president of Super Neighbor at the time, mm -hmm. and she was, she does, she does a toy drive every year. Mm -hmm. So I think I had like about 15, 20 bikes that comes from Alan Rosen that mm -hmm. had donated to us. So I gave it to her, man. And so she said, Well, Rob, why don't you come to the Black History program this year? I said, Okay, Ms. Ocean, I'll come, you know. So I'm sitting there and she's giving out plaques. She gave one, you know, Sylvester Turner, uh, Senator Whitmire, and then she said, and Robin. So I said, Robin. I'm looking around, she's like, you. I'm like, me. I'm like, oh, and then my eyes start sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's another story. So, yeah. Miss Wilson, tell me where, <laughs> where where did you grow up? You know, did you grow up in Houston? Mm -hmm. or, I'm yeah. born and raised in Houston, from Carbondale, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, before it was Jersey Village, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, Right at 290 and Gessner, in between um, 290 and Clay, mm -hmm. is our is my community mm -hmm. where I still reside today, mm -hmm. and that's also a part of my district as well. Okay. But um, I grew up in the Cypher School Independent School District mm -hmm. um, all my life. So um, I graduated from Long Star in 2019. So just a part of that Northwest side. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so you said you graduated from Long Star, uh, and then back from college, what, what, what did you do? I mean, I was, I was still working full time while okay. going to school. I'm still working at the same company. So, mm -hmm. um, but trying to venture out to where I am when, once I get stable to be able to be on my own mm -hmm. and not have to work for a company. Mm -hmm. So, um, just working on that with my cousin, just trying to get some stuff so we can start helping um, felons get re reallocated back into the community. That's that's definitely needed right now. Very much so, because they have, he, he's an ex-offender. Mm -hmm. so, I see firsthand, we go through this firsthand, like how hard it is for him and mm -hmm. how the system really does mm -hmm. keep you in bondage, even though you're out, mm -hmm. they still keep you in bondage. Right, so um, right now, our, our main focus is just um, just trying to get reestablished, him reestablished, which mm -hmm. we're, he's almost at 100%, mm -hmm. um, but it, it's just hard for ex offenders, and yeah. you know, a lot of people don't understand me. I, I think it's intentional, but, but we'll, of course we'll, it we'll, is. we'll come back That's to that. That's different, but yeah, yeah we'll come of course back it is, second. but so, I can go there. Yeah. Right, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what I do here, because I, I want it, I want people to, to see mm -hmm. the the human side, or to, for you to tell your story, because I'm, I'm leading up to something, because how mm -hmm. you and I kind of were like lockstep, we both. Well, you ran before I did. You I actually did. ran for, uh, for District A back in, what, 2015? 16. 15, 16? 15, 15 or 16. I think it was 15 going into oh, yeah. 16. Oh, yeah, 15 going into 16. Mm -hmm, it is. Mm -hmm. um, I first did it. Just jumped out there because I got sick of what I was seeing mm -hmm. in my district. And, um, and in my community, always being left behind or never enough. And mm -hmm. I'm like, that can't be right because I thought every district, every district, leader has an allocation for every community because mm -hmm. that's how it normally Most works. Right. But looking back, I'm like, y'all didn't do anything for us. Mm -hmm. 
and that's sad and i'm like i got sick of it i just jumped in right like a month or two before the deadline and i'm like i'm just gonna go ahead and put my name in just to eat i know i'm not gonna win <laughs> but just to let them know like look people are watching people mm -hmm. do see you and you need to do better mm -hmm. and so i didn't win but it made me um see how things went mm -hmm. and it also gave me connections that I needed so mm -hmm. when I ran the next time mm -hmm. it was a heck of a lot better mm -hmm. and it was I was it was a lot stronger mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and um, so I did run um, that was 2019 2019 yeah, we ran 2019. okay 2019 <laughs> <laughs> so much going on 2019 right. and when I did run it was six of us in the race mm -hmm. um, and I was like first I was the only Democrat and mm -hmm. then the last day of the last hour, yes. a Democrat showed up. Yeah. And I'm like, where have you been? Right. Like, do you know what you just done? Because had I been elected, I would have been the first African-American female to be, be a, the, the leadership of District A, which is a predominantly Republican district. Mm -hmm. But it would have also showed other people, mm -hmm. we can do this mm -hmm. and we are here and we're watching and it's time to change. Right. But, and I thank God now, hindsight 2020, mm -hmm. because had I won, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to be in the position. Mm -hmm. Had I won, I would have had to have um, those hard conversations with George Floyd and mm -hmm. passing that bill, almost mm -hmm. billion dollar bond for HPD, which mm -hmm. I wouldn't have done. <laughs> but you know, but I would have been the lone, you know, the lone soldier, the lone right. soldier by herself saying, no, I'm not giving them that. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, and sticking to my guns and not giving in. Mm -hmm. And and I'm like, you know what? I I kind of I'm kind of glad I didn't, because mm -hmm. um, a lot of other stuff happened on the backside. You know, because mm -hmm. um, I I'm you know health problems or mm -hmm. whatever. So I'm like, so I wouldn't really been out or whatever. But I'm kind of glad I didn't because it then it allowed me to step back and see, let other people see. This is who y'all put in. Mm -hmm. You don't represent y'all. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, I uh, first of all, I, I want to give you your flowers while you're here, man. You probably don't know it, but I think I told you before that when you were calling me and saying, hey, Rob, come here, come there, mm -hmm. that was getting me ready to, to do my run, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because uh, we were out there working on like Highway 6 and six somewhere in, in the Botox, <laughs> man. Um, no, actually, before that, we went to uh, the uh, the Democratic headquarters on, on six. Yeah, CC yeah. Meeting. Went to that meeting. And you didn't want to go. I didn't want to go, man, because <laughs> it was that was that was me being nervous and not really having my stump speech together and stuff like that. But that actually um, helped me to get me ready to speak, start speaking for the people. You know what I mean? And so, but when I looked out there in that crowd, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it was hundreds of people. It was a lot of people out there. They were everywhere. So yeah. It was kind of like standing room only. Yeah, and it was it like was, yeah. you got one minute. It was like one minute. And, and with, man, when you're in front of people, one minute is an eternity. You know what I mean? And so, uh, but I appreciate you, man, because you actually, <clears throat> you know how when 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 a kid when they they learn how to walk and they fall, you want to grab them, but you know we just not going go out there. So I went before I ate you. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh my God, man. So I appreciate you, man. So that, that little step right there helped me to kind of push me along through the rest of my race, man. So That's I appreciate good. you. And it also lets you meet different people. It did, and yeah. to see people, are, they just like you. Yeah, they got nine to five, yeah. they got kids, yeah. they got to go run here, run. Yeah. And, it, and it just made it become more real. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I think politics needs to be mm -hmm. with more real people I agree. who experience everyday life mm -hmm. and have everyday problems. Mm -hmm. Because people look, oh, hey, that's the. Oh, that's a politician. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. They work for they, us. Mm -hmm. My tax dollar, mm -hmm. you know, is 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 funding them, mm -hmm. and I, I expect them to do what I'm paying for. Mm -hmm. so. Gotcha. So you had uh, you had called me. Uh, I want to say it was last year sometime. He was like, "Hey, Robin, they got some seats open at, at Lone Star. I think you ought to run." I was like, "I don't know, Asian man. I got." I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm cut out for that, you know what I mean? And so you said, well, okay, if I'm gonna run. I said, okay, well, hey, you got my support, you know? So, um, fast forward, you, you won the seat, you know? Won. Yeah, you I won. just won, I sweeped it. <laughs> I gotta put it out there. And, I, I'm, and I'm, I'm not being, I'm not being no, boastful, but I'm, I'm doing it because a lot of people don't see the backside of it. Mm. You know, a lot of people don't understand that 
when you run against somebody who's already established, yeah, COVID, yeah. what? Yeah. They don't like that. Yeah. They want to, who is this person? Yeah. Where they come from? Why they running? Mm -hmm. Who who they think they are? Oh no, we can't get, we can't let them win. Yeah, that's true. And that's what I was told on the backside. A lot of people don't, I see it's a lot of stuff that I don't talk about, but mm -hmm. I've been threatened. My signs are taken. Um, people were at the polls lying on me. Like, don't vote for her because she did it. I'm like, you don't even know me. That's you know, and so, and I can't say, oh, well, somebody told me that. No, I witnessed it myself at the polls. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, but I'm right here. Um, <laughs> what are you saying about me? That's not true. Wow. You know, and so um, when I ran against this, um, the incumbent, um, Dr. Elton Smith, it was like, he was like, he told my cousin when he went to the polls, like, he was like, oh, I ain't worried about her. She all right. She just trying to get her feet wet. I know who she is. I know she just ran. Yeah. And so I was just like, I just told him, don't respond. Just, you know, mm -hmm. I said, do, do what we do. Be cordial. Mm -hmm. Keep it professional. Because I don't have time for all that, all that extra stuff. Right. And, and I said, like, like city council in 19, I'm like, I'm not watching a race. Mm -hmm. I ain't watching then. Oh, yeah. Even yeah, though yeah. I came third, should have been in the should've runoff. Been in the runoff. I agree. But, I was like, I'm not watching it. Mm -hmm. So I went to sleep and I got a call that morning. No, I got a text and said, hey, you won the early vote. I said, okay, you know. I said, but have they did the full vote, the 100%? Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Okay, cool. So that morning about 5.30, somebody called me. You won. I'm asleep. Mm -hmm. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm like, who called me? Mm -hmm. They was like, you won. Wow. I'm like, won what? Right. They was like, you won, long star. <laughs> I'm like, what? And I was just like, I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what are you, I won for real? Mm -hmm. And they was like, turn on the news. They was like, look at your numbers, everything. They was like, you won by over 4,000 votes. Wow. You won. Wow. They was like, with the early voting numbers, you he, he really didn't have a chance. You won. They was like, you beat him. All Fair right. and score. All right, so you won, and, and mm -hmm. now you're you're in the seat. So, um, do you know? Um, At first, it wasn't Lone Star. It was. Um, it was Montgomery. No. Uh, Montgomery County. Montgomery Community College. Mm -hmm. And then they switched. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they switched. I'm still digging into that. So seat. I'm trying to come think. Lone Star, and it was a uh, North Line. No. North Harris? Before no. North Harris, it okay. was Montgomery County. Okay, gotcha. Lone, okay. Star, Lone Star changed to Lone Star from Montgomery Community College. It okay. just was in Montgomery. It was a small community college. Gotcha. They changed mm -hmm. to, I think, North Harris. Okay. Then they went to Lone Star. I, I, so I it I, was like different. Like they acquired North Harris. That's what I was going to say. Something they like acquired that, North Harris. Harris. And so from there, they just expanded, expanded, expanded. Gotcha. So, um, what are the duties of the board members of Lone Star? Okay. To hire chancellors. Okay. Um, to go over the budget, of course, approve the budget. Mm -hmm. um, to approve work projects. To mm -hmm. approve student funding and um, make sure that they're getting a proper amount of funding. Okay. Um, just to go and just to regulate what's going on at Lone Star mm -hmm. to make sure that whatever it needs to be done gets done mm -hmm. in a in a fashion it's supposed to be done in basically. Okay. So um, it's regulated by the board. Mm -hmm. Um and so how how are like the budgets? I'm guessing I'm guessing everything is just is voted on. So everything's voted on. Um, I know that nowadays like the, the attendance is very is lower in, in the in the African community though? It's we have a low enrollment. They were right there, huh? Um but we're there. Mm -hmm. But truth be told, the Asian community mm -hmm. and the Hispanic community are taking advantage. Are mm -hmm. are like making it. the Hispanic community mm -hmm. is predominantly in all the long stars. Mm -hmm. You know, um then the Asians, then the Caucasians, mm -hmm. then the African Americans. So what what is Lone Star doing to to solicit to more of the uh, the African American culture and whatnot? Because um, I, I'm I'm saying this because you know I was in that 
that little lock. Well, I went there because I was wasn't doing the right prayer view. <laughs> so I had to, I had to go and get a you know go to summer school, get a two oh twelve hours so I can go back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, so what 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 would a person um, well how would it benefit them to go to Lone Star? As an African American? Mm -hmm. Oh, just just in, in I'm gonna say in, in general. You know what I mean? Because um, because nowadays, you know, most most kids are are going to Lone Star. I mean, like to uh, community college before they go to the Poor University, right. but then they're going to expand mm -hmm. uh, to the Poor University. They have already started two, wow. uh, three three programs that working on the fourth. Mm -hmm. They've already started that. Okay. So, um, and that just started this year. Okay. So it's it's kind of like trial and error. They're going to see how it works. What needs to be changing? You know, things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, this is my take. Coming in at the end of November, mm -hmm. I got sworn in November 20th. So, and looking, just sitting back and looking and see how that process works. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lack in the African American, black or black and brown community. Mm -hmm. A lack. Now, when you say lack, you mean as far as like marketing. Okay, gotcha. For okay. enrollment. Okay. So, my job, even before going in, I think I spoke to you, is mm -hmm. I want to. Get, you know, let the black kids, African American kids, Hispanic kids know. Look, y'all can go to Lone Star mm -hmm. for free. Mm -hmm. F R E E, mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that. Wow. They think, oh, I gotta apply for FAFSA. No, you don't. I graduated from Lone Star for free with an accounting degree. Oh, wow. Right. All based on income through the work source. A lot of people don't know Lone Star is partnered with with the um, Texas Work Source. So you know, let me let me put some pin in that. So. Um, some years ago when I was unemployed, um, <laughs> part of the stipulation was that I couldn't go to school and then be still getting paid unemployment. So how, how does Not that true. work? Not true. Because... Well, I'm saying that's what happened to me. Right. Mm -hmm. They probably changed the rules. Okay. Okay. So when I first went to, long, um, went to the work source, I was look, going to look for a job. Mm -hmm. And the lady was like, would you be interested in going to school? They do ask that question. And I said, yeah, if I can. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't working at the time. I had just got laid off. Mm -hmm. And so she kind of went over the, everything with me, and she was like, all you got to do is pick a degree. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, cool. So I picked my degree, and I asked her how much. And she said, nothing, because they have scholarship program through the state mm -hmm. that they are required to use the funding if they don't. They have to send the funding back and the state allocates it to another. Wow. Right? Wow. Okay. So this is why I was like, oh yeah, I need to get on this. Mm -hmm. If I go to school for free, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. And so I got signed up, I got approved, and then I got a job mm -hmm. after I got approved. So mm -hmm. I went in there, I said, you know, I just got a job. Um, I gave her my check stub and she said, Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. You are already in the program. Mm -hmm. She said, just keep every um, class just keep filling out the same little paper like approval come up you know call us come up here pick up your paper and take the certificate to the school mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. I was working going to Lone Star and graduated with a degree and never paid a dime wow so my thing is coming in um this is why I sat down with the vice chancellor in my district for my campuses and asked him what was his plan of action because I can't just go in there with my plan. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he yeah, would be my feet. Right. So, and and they don't like that. When you're a board of trustee, they don't really, they want you to go through the, go through the vice chancellor, let the vice chancellor, mm -hmm. and I'm not like that. I'm a, I'm a work of mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. What kind of job fair we need, what kind of fair we need to have, what kind of something we need to have for the community mm -hmm. so they'll know, hey, Long Star is here and we're here to help. Mm -hmm. I said, um, <clears throat> By one of my campuses being in the victory, victory, which is kind of like in the heart of Acres home, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Who knows you're here?" Mm -hmm. And he was like, "What do you mean? Who in Acres home community mm -hmm. knows you're here in Acres home mm -hmm. to help them? What right. have you done right. to reach out to the community?" I said, "Cause I can call people." Mm -hmm. But it's not about me. It's, it's going to have to be a team effort. We're Agreed. a team. Agreed. And so my plan, my goal is to, um, I already told him what I wanted to do, and then the ice storm came. So now we're about to get back on track after this meeting Thursday, and I'm going to um, lay out my plan. Okay. And I don't care if you don't like it. Because at the end of the day, the people in the community voted for me, right. so they want to see me do the work. Right, right. And so that's my, this, this is what I'm going to do. And um, 
and I understand they're about to they're about to hopefully um and no expand Long Star because you know all Dean goes to Long Star. Mm -hmm. The eleventh and twelfth graders mm -hmm. they go for dual credit, mm -hmm. which is fine. That's but that's do true. they know they can go to Long Star for free? It's one thing to go for dual credit right. that your parents are paying a portion for, but right. do you know you can go for free? Mm. No, you, yes, do you yeah. did you know yourself to go for free? I didn't know that. Okay. I know now. You know what I mean? So yeah. You know now. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But that's something he should be with talking with his counselors with right now. Right now I agree. Okay. Getting him prepared to say, look, when you get through with this dual credit, you can go to Long Star to complete whatever you need to complete for free. Mm -hmm. You can go get a vocational training certificate. You can go get your welder certificate. You can go get your CDL. You can become a vocational nurse. Mm -hmm. You can become an accountant. You can become a teacher. Mm -hmm. Get your stuff you need to get started to become a teacher. Wow. They have the nursing bachelor's degree now. Mm -hmm. wow. So you ain't even got to go to a big university. You go right there and get your bachelor's degree from Long Star. Well, I tell you what, this is on record. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, <coughs> how about I can help? I definitely want to be. I want to be. I want to be on board to help push this initiative because, you know, right now, um, from what from my vantage point, the the head of household right now are women. That that's that point. <laughs> right. That so point. I think the more we pour into the women, the more they can pour into their seed to the kids that they're being raised. So it's kind of like one hand's washing the other. So right. we we take care of mom. Mom's going to take care of the kids, right. and then, so it, it changes the whole paradigm of thinking about community. Right. You know? So. Uh, I want to help. Yeah, I mean, cool. so uh, let's, let's let's get to work. I am. <laughs> I'm not, like I have some calls in, but like I said, with this this ice storm, it just kind of pushed everybody to focus to you know, Sometimes which right. is great, mm -hmm. and I and we need that. But we also because the kids are still in school, mm -hmm. so we need to kind of let's split the focus. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm like, I need to. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do it because you know they really shun upon it at Long Star um, <laughs> for the board of trustees to go into the school. Wow. and talk to the students. I want to go as, as low as eighth grade because in eighth grade, mm -hmm. when you get to ninth grade, they're going to be like, what you want to do? Right. You know, that, yeah, that's, that's how they come at you. That's true. So if you know in eighth grade, well, I can go to Long Star for free at least for two years, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, to start my degree. What if I don't, some, in African, African American community, a lot of kids don't want to go to college. That's true. They don't understand you can still go to college and mm -hmm. get a certificate mm -hmm. and come out and be your own boss. Mm. Yeah, yeah, wow. wow. They took the vocational trainings out of school. They sure did. So they put it in the Lone Star. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's make something happen. Mm -hmm. um, my little cousin, he um, he he was in welding at his high school. Mm -hmm. He graduated. I said, but where is his degree, certificate, or something? So I said, this is what you do. You go to the work source. Mm -hmm. You tell them you want to get in the welding program mm -hmm. at Lone Star. Mm -hmm. You get your scholarship. Cause there is it's our money. It's just sitting there. It's our money for our kids. Wow. But guess what? We don't use it. Guess who's gonna use it? Other races. Mm -hmm. And that's who's using it. That's mm -hmm. why Hispanics are predominantly leading mm -hmm. at all Lone Star campuses. Mm -hmm. This this poll and record just came out mm -hmm. yesterday. Wow. They're leading. We're wow. behind. We got we we're always playing catch up. Not not always due to our fault, because we were always behind. Mm -hmm. But if we can start being more proactive instead mm -hmm. of reactive, mm -hmm. I think a lot of a lot of these kids will come out the streets. Okay. Like if if we get the kids who oh I'm in a rap, Long Star has a program. Become an, become an engineer, like learn the music, learn oh, the okay. business. I was gonna say teach you how to rap. <laughs> no, the back end of it. I got you. Okay. You know, okay. learn how to reach your contracts, right. all that kind of stuff. You have to find. They have like thousands of programs you can take okay. for free. Wow. And and that's my whole goal. I don't care what it is. People love free. That's true. And that's not true. only free, they pay for your books and supplies. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, if we can go, I mean, to a whole lot, man. Yeah. Um, I, I know you got somewhere to go. So I tell you what, when you promise to come back mm -hmm. once the next budget is out, put out, we can kind of come back and see what it is and where the money is going, and we can figure out how. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So before we leave, let everybody know where they can find you at Instagram, Facebook, you got websites or. Um, this is the best thing to do. Go to Lone Star, click on my name, and my information is there. Mm -hmm. And they have all my, all my information, like my Lone Star business. So I like to keep it like that. But you can find me on, what is it, Facebook? Yeah, mm -hmm. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it's fairly boring. I know, because it's hard. My name is not, it's Aisha Wilson. It's I E S H E I A. And then Wilson, W I L S O N. And then I'm on um, Instagram. 
Aisha, I E S H E I A underscore, I think. I really don't get it. I really don't. So I'm on Twitter the same way. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so uh, any important words before you leave? Yes. My wait, wait, before you okay. do that, this is the last day of Black History Month, man. So is it Sunday? Sunday. So tomorrow, okay, so anyway. Okay, I'm sorry. Do your parting words if you want. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Um, use the resources that are there for us and don't let anybody else take what is for you. You know what I mean? If you don't know X, I promise you, anybody can call me, anybody can email me. I will walk you through the steps to get the funding that you need to go to Lone Star. It's kind of like the same process at HCC as well. A lot of people don't know. Mm -hmm. Lawrence and HCC, they work hand in hand. They're two separate colleges only because of the size of the towns that they represent. Mm -hmm. But they're all one and the same. Mm -hmm. um, HCC got $28.6 million for CARES Act last year. Wow. Lone Star got <laughs> 30.8. My cousin just received for financial assistance for due to the pandemic. He just received $1,000 from HCC just for filling out a form. So I asked him, well, how many people knew about the form? He said only 100 people turned it in, but it went out to 5,000 people. Wow. $1,000 and only 100 people turned it in? Think of, you know, you have to think about stuff like that. What am I doing my life? <laughs> Not only that, but, but, and this, I posted it, I think I posted it yesterday. Okay. Um, for the ice storm, Lone Star has $100,000 for scholarships for students who were impacted. Mm. Uh, so you have to go to them. I was impacted. Mm -hmm. I need financial assistance. They'll give you a scholarship. Wow. Also, a hundred thousand dollars scholarship or financial funding for the staff or for teachers or professors and the staff that were also impacted. Mm -hmm. So it's all about getting the information out to the community. That's why I posted it because people need to know it's money there. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to pay it back. Wow. It's a scholarship. Wow. It's like a grant. It's, it's yours. Wow. <laughs> you ain't got to pay for it. It's a non tax Right. And and there it's there. $100,000 just for students to help them that was affected. Because a lot of us, is, I think we just got our cold water bag yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's people I know, they don't have hot or cold water, period, or electricity. Steel. Wow. And plumbers are backed up. Yeah, it's, it's, it got it got real real bad down here. You it know got what I mean? So it just, just show how our infrastructure needs mm -hmm. to be worked on. You know, and that's a whole so new. That's a whole. Like I said, we can go forever. But anyway, y'all make sure you go to YouTube channel, subscribe to uh, Politically Street. Uh, I'm on Facebook as well, Politically Street. Um, I'm on Instagram, Robin underscore J underscore Anderson. And uh, y'all look out for this episode, man. It's going. <laughs> anyway, peace, y'all. <laughs>